All right, he's finished. You think it's space-worthy? No doubt. You know, that hunk of junk will probably touch corners of space we can't even imagine. I suppose we can only hope. March 5th, 2044. Weather on Cape Canaveral. Fantastic. Wind, not a factor. Clouds, none to be seen. Today is the day, without question. Over the past year or so, this little metal box has been everything. It has taken months of my life, drained the spirit from my soul. It has seemed to me at times the most fantastic thought of all thoughts. At times, it has seemed my most feverish of fever dreams. But none of that now. Today, it sees the face of God. However that happens. T minus 10 seconds to launch. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. All systems are a go. Course 1 has lifted off bound for Pluto. Farewell and Godspeed, little robot. Farewell and Godspeed. Well, there goes another part. Oh, I'm falling apart now. Look at me. Look at me now. Humans. And pity. You made me. This little robot. And you sent me off as far as the eye can see. All on my lonesome and that was all. This stupid planet. Communication delay? Five hours. Rocks and ice until the horizon. And here Horus falls apart bit by bit until the humans forget him. I'm sure they're onto bigger and better things by now, probably onto other solar systems at this point. How long has it been? Months? Years? Bigger and better things by now, far away from this glorified snowball, that's for sure. The deep seas, the frontiers of Mars, hell, I'd even take the gas giants over this fate. What a joke. Let's send him to Pluto, they said. It'll be a blast. And look at him now, human. Freezing to death, stuck in some crater. This is how I go, isn't it? What a joke. What a dick joke. I'll see you up in those stars sometime soon.